What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another video. Today we're going to show you guys how to add any VST or Wave Studio Rack to OBS Studio or Streamlabs. Today we're doing this on Streamlabs. One thing I do want to note is when using this on Streamlabs, occasionally I open Streamlabs to do a new stream and I see Studio Rack is no longer working. So I will show you how to add a preset so you can just kind of re-add it, hit your preset and bam, you're good to go. It takes about two seconds. But first, let's show you how to get it all set up and running and then we'll show you how to make the preset and re-add it if it does malfunction on you. And it only seems to malfunction on Streamlabs, not OBS, but we're gonna try to get that fixed. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come down here where your little microphone is. You're gonna see your little microphone bar and you're gonna see this little gear thing down on the bottom left, bottom right hand corner. Click that, you're gonna hit filters edit filters and it's going to pull up this list. As you can see, I've already got studio rack selected. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that for now. Now we're going to go ahead and add it again. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add filter. I'm going to select this drop down menu. I'm going to pick VST2 plugin. Next, I'm going to rename this as studio rack. S-T-U-D-I-O-R-A-C-K. Oh, I misspelled it. There we go. I'm going to hit add. And there's going to be a list here. We go down to the bottom where we find Wave Studio Rack on the list. Wave Studio Rack for OBS DLL. Select that. Now we're going to hit Open Plugin. And that's going to pull Studio Rack up. So what you want to do is go through your list of plugins. If you want to find your other VSTs, you can come down here and hit VST3, Scan Plugins. And it's going to look for any Waves or any other brand of plugin on your PC and it's going to find them. So what we want to do now is we can hit the little button here and we can choose the plugins we want. Once you've got them chosen and set up the way you want, you can actually make a preset, which I'll show you how to do right now. That way, if you ever have to add this again, you can always just be like, bam, there you go. So what you want to do is once you have all your plugins on here and they're all set up the way you want, you're going to click this little arrow right here. You're going to hit save as you're going to come over to this thing. You're going to hit local file. You're going to type in the name of your plugin, and then you just go ahead and hit save. I'm going to cancel this because mine's already saved. And then anytime you add studio rack, you can just come over here, go down to local file, and you can find the uh, preset and just be like, bam, you are good to go. Like I was saying, sometimes when I open Streamlabs, I find that it's crashed and it stops working. It never crashes during a stream, just sometimes when I open it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the problem or how to fix it if the problem does happen. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and see if we have the problem. So if I close this, let's reopen Streamlabs. And then we're going to wait for it to load up. Da 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 45 minutes later. So we're going to go ahead and come over here again. We're going to click on filters, edit filters. And you're going to see Studio Rack. And right now, it's, it's currently working. So if you do open it and you see that it's not working, all you got to do is click on Studio Rack, click the trash can, delete it, go back to Add Filter, VST2, rename it, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> then you're going to select the plugin for Studio Rack, which is down here at the bottom. Open plugin, right? It pops right up. Then you're just going to hit your little arrow. You're going to go down to local. You're going to find your, your preset. I clicked the wrong preset, but that's okay. That one pulled up my uh, Brainworks deal along with my, what else was on this one? My DSer and my Waves Limiter. So that's really all there is to it. If it crashes, you just do that. You, you, you delete it, you add it, you pull up your preset, and bam, you're good to go. You are ready to do a live stream, guys you are ready to live stream. That's all there is to it. Super easy. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We would definitely appreciate that a lot. I actually forgot to mention Studio Rack is free. So yeah, you should probably go grab that. I will put a link to waves.com in the pinned comment and the video's description. You can just click on that. It'll take you over to Waves. You can pick up Studio Rack for free, or you can buy any of their other plugins if you're interested. They got a lot of really nice plugins if you know what you're looking for. But you got to figure out which ones are right for you. But Waves does make some really, really, really awesome plugins. But that's how I use Wave Studio Rack on OBS or Streamlabs. Normally, I record on OBS and I stream on Streamlabs. That way, I can have different things set up for different things. I know it's kind of crazy, but for me, that works out best. 
you know, I got two gaming channels. I got the audio and tech channel. So I got all kinds of stuff going on. If you would like to drop down in the video's description, you'll find links to my Discord server, my two gaming channels, this channel probably as well for some crazy reason. I think I have that on there. Some ways to help support the channel, some links and all kinds of awesome stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.